So we got to try the Will Bender after they had made some quality of life improvements and I just have to say, it still feels off. I tried a few PvP matches, a couple of fractals, and open world to see where it landed. And here's what I thought. PvP as a Willbender was a nightmare. I was I was the king of downstate for my matches. Now it's not to say that I'm an expert at structured PvP, but I felt like I was defenseless, which is odd coming from the Guardian. Now it's not to say when I landed a decent combo, I couldn't do some serious damage, but, but whenever I was in the mix of combat, and I wasn't even the main target, I just melted with standard AoE. The dashes were cool and they made for some flashiness, but it still felt like I was wearing paper armor, and when I actually connected with the enemy, I was hitting them with a wet noodle. I even said, to hell with this, let's go fool Zerkers and, and see what happens. And I got dropped by everyone in the match, even in a fair 1v1. Overall, uh, structured PvP doesn't feel like it's the best fit for the Willbender in the current state. Even despite the dashes and the cool effects, feeling like the Willbender should be good at PvP. Maybe I'm just bad. The handful of fractals that I did, I will note that they were brief as most of the group was speed running through. It felt sluggish to get all my damaging abilities off in time, even despite having my builds emphasizing power versus condition damage. Now, I could do some pretty good numbers when I had the time to set up, but even at that point, it was only decent. Nothing to condemn me, so to speak, but also nothing really worth writing home to mama. Also, side note, it is pretty awesome dodging in and out of combat and dodging all these abilities with all of your dashes. It worked pretty well there. In my opinion, the Willbender shined in open world content. I was able to cruise through a number of mobs at the same time without breaking a sweat. Also being able to control the mobs so they stayed within the Willbender flames is nice and easy. I never felt squishy and I never felt underwhelming. I felt like I was in the right spot here. I had the defenses capable, the dodges, the dashes, everything I needed to, to survive and feel like I was powerful. Now, I didn't go as far as, say, going into raids or to strike missions to truly test the higher end of PvE, so disclaimer there. I'm sure someone's going to come along and do that better than I will. Even despite the changes that were made over the past few months, Willbender still seems underwhelming. Aesthetically, they are awesome dashing and slashing back and forth, but I don't think they have hit their mark yet. They feel very vulnerable in a lot of ways, and I believe that needs to be their first improvement. The positive note is that they emphasize mobility changes, not being rooted while casting your abilities. Because of the dashing in and out that we saw in the trailer, they delivered, so I suppose that is a win from this event. What do you think about the Willbender? Tell me in the comments section down below. If you want to see a funny video that I made about the Willbender's trailer, check out this link right here. As always, I'm the Caffeinated Dad. I'll see you guys around.